Good evening, everybody. Two years of waiting for justice. Now, five officers on a military jury will decide the fate of a sergeant accused of murdering local Army Corporal Kimberly Walker. The 28 year old was found dead, covered in rose petals at a Colorado Springs hotel. Nine on your side, John Genovese joins us now with what led to, you know, up to this trial as it begins. Absolutely. Carol and Tanya, Corporal Walker. Grew up in Madisonville, and she was visiting her boyfriend, Sergeant Montrell Mayo, who was stationed near that hotel. And now the defense argues this was a crime of passion, but prosecutors say Mayo is a cold blooded killer. In a room at this Colorado hotel filled with flowers, candy, and balloons. There's a soldier at the front desk. They're being advised that he just killed his girlfriend. That soldier turned out to be a friend of Sergeant Montrell Mayo. Prosecutors say on Valentine's Day last year, Mayo killed his girlfriend, 28-year-old Corporal Kimberly Walker. She grew up here but was stationed in Kansas. Mayo was based near Colorado Springs. Authorities say just hours into their visit, he smashed a glass on Walker's head then suffocated her with a pillow. He was later caught in his hometown in North Carolina. She brought you up to a higher level just being around her. Family and friends have waited nearly two years for justice. She's not gone forever. She's in our hearts and she'll be with me forever. Both the defense and prosecution admit Mayo killed her. The question now is why. And we're told the trial could take up to a week, which is a long time by military standards. And if a jury decides Walker's death was premeditated, Mayo will be sentenced to a minimum of life in prison. We'll certainly keep following this. But for now, Carol and Tanya, back to you. All right.